Hey guys, thanks for coming out to uh, catch my thrift. Um, we're headed into the local Goodwill. It is discount day. Unfortunately, I don't get any discounts. Headed right over to the media section, just scanning really quick. See this DS game, um, looks like there's Spore in there, so it's not the cooking game. So I just throw it in my cart. Figure this would be good for, um, you know, a future whatnot auction uh, that I hold. So if you guys don't know, I am on the app whatnot and I try and run an auction every Tuesday. Although I've been switching it up. Uh, I did one this past Monday with my, my buddy Jared, who is the owner of Outlaw Video Games. If you want to check out his store, um, that is actually one of my very first videos. So here I find this Kodak 500, it looks really cool. Um, so I throw it in the cart and I'll, I'll look it up later, see what we uh, can get for it. And just like trying to look for anything. So if you see anything that I miss, um, definitely let me know. Um, I don't, again, I don't claim to know everything in regards to what's good to pick up and what's not. I try and stay away from big things. I have been buying a lot of shoes lately. So these New Balance were kind of interesting to me because they were actually um, sandals, but a little too worn for me. So I decided to put them back. Again, I see like these juicers all the time. I know um, a few people on YouTube do pick those up for parts. It's just a lot of work for me. Find these Brooks a little too worn. This Con Air thing looked pretty cool, but it, it looks like it turns your bathtub into a spa and it looked like it was used. I was just checking out this camera because I actually uh, gave someone a camera um, recently that was in the same bag. So I kind of want to see if it was that. Picked up this Canon, uh, threw it in the cart. We're going to look it up later and, and see if we're going to keep that. Looking through these CDs. So I'm looking for any like old school rap CDs. I actually picked up uh, an old school uh, Wu-Tang vinyl that I actually, I sold it to a neighbor on the cheap, um, but they actually hold some really good value. So definitely keep a lookout for that. I was looking at this Barbie convertible. I didn't really see a date. Don't really want to mess with it. So I just kind of passed. Coming over here, looking at the shoes, $19.99, not my price range, but I find this Tom Tom. Um, and if you recall from a previous video, we did pick one up that was brand new. Um, this one looks to be brand new. The cords look a little dusty, so I'm not sure. Um, we'll go ahead and look it up here and just see if it's worth the pickup. They did not have a price on it, but it was going to be $5.99. Um, so when I looked it up, I think one sold for like $14. So definitely not something that we would be interested in. Um, just took a quick look at the golf clubs, trying to keep a lookout for like any Nike um, golf clubs since they're no longer made. I know uh, they're quick sellers. Find this ink. Um, it was expired only a year, um, but seven bucks. I think they would probably charge me around three for it. So just keep looking for anything. I saw this. This is a game called Bargain Hunter. Um, I thought they looked really cool. And it kind of goes, I mean, it definitely goes with what I aim to do. I aim to find a bargain. Uh, unfortunately, that wasn't worth enough for my time. And then I do notice here, it looks like I missed this laser um, printer ink, which would have been really good. Uh, so I may have to stop back later. Then I find this. If you don't know, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do. I'm a huge turtle collector. My sons love turtles. This is 1989 Mirage. Um, throwing it in the cart. This is not going to be flipped. This is for personal use. I'm either going to just throw it in the collection or um, give it to one of my boys to, to use for, you know, either their soccer gear or just to bring stuff to school. So looking at the books, of course, you know, <laughs> we're looking for some Harry Potter, but, um, you know, I don't see any. I did find these, um, looks like these children guide books. I'm going to look them up and, uh, and see what we find. Um, you know, it was kind of all over the place. There was a stack that went for like 60 some odd dollars and then some that actually only sold for like, honestly, six. So I wasn't too comfortable with purchasing them all. Uh, the one that I saw was like one through 15. These were kind of mixed. It was like two, three, five, six. It, not all of them were there. So I just didn't feel comfortable and they take up space and I'm trying to limit the amount of space that things take up. I want to move things quick. Um, unfortunately, that's not always the case with, you know, certain things. 
Um, and again, we, we try and stick with video games here, but I will sell anything that can make me a profit. I just need it to have a good sell through rate and move quick. Unfortunately, you know, my basement is kind of full again um, with a lot of stuff uh, that we have. So I saw these arrow beds. They would have been great if they were new, um, but they weren't. So I'm not really in the used like arrow bed market. They might have had a good price on them. Um, you know, I think it was like $9.99, but I uh, wasn't really trying to pick those up. Um, but who knows? Tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. Maybe I should have picked them up. Maybe there is a good market for the used, um, you know, arrow bed market. Uh, saw these golf clubs and decided to just look them up uh, because you never know with a certain brand. Uh, they looked like cheap golf clubs and also one of the uh, one of the grips was ripped, so I would have to re-grip it if I wanted to sell it. I mean, I guess I, I wouldn't have to, but I would want to, you know, make it look nice. So we're just going to go around um, for round two uh, because you never know. Um, I tend to miss things, you know, on my first pass. And I always like to take a second pass if I have time. kind of looking for anything that we can find. We've already found a few things, which is nice. Uh, you know, in my past couple trips that I've been here, I haven't really found too much. Um, those shoes were pretty interesting. I believe they're light up shoes because they have a port to charge, but they were super worn. So there's no way I was going to get into those. Um, so I'm looking up this Canon camera now, not worth anything. Um, I've, I've never sold plates but I looked at that Christmas plate for a second. Um, looking up this Kodak as well, and uh, I, I, it didn't have much value on it at all, so I ended up putting it back. I actually didn't see any that sold um, that were you know, the exact same of that one, so just decided to uh, put it back and not really take, take a gamble with it. We're just walking slow. And you'll see here I put it down um, so again just looking at things um, you know maybe I should start looking into plates more um, I just haven't I'm scared scared to ship them um, I'm scared to find out like how long they might take to sell uh, not really sure if they have a, a quick sell through rate or was a crock pot there that I missed but then I found this this was a good score. I actually saw this on NC Picker's channel. He picked one of these up. This one is in the box. Um, it doesn't have everything, but it it appears to be new. Um, you'll see here in a minute, we're gonna go test it out. It's super duper clean. It has all the wraps around it. So um, we tested that out. It did work. And we're back at the media section, just looking around. And I believe I found a DS game and threw it in the cart. I think it's the brand new up uh, DS game that I will show you at the end. And just kind of, kind of looking, seeing if we find anything else. Um, I was cutting, cutting close on time, so I know I'm kind of rushing around, looking to see if there's any shoes there. I have been picking up a lot of shoes. I just got a brand new pair of um, Solomon shoes, Solomon hiking shoes. So if, uh, if you're in need of a pair, they are on my eBay store. Um, and remember, if you message me on Instagram about anything you see on my eBay, um, we can work out a discount, usually 10 to 15%. Um, and if you want more than one thing, we can definitely work out a deal. But just checking out these Barbies here. They were brand new. The boxes were a little crushed. Um, they probably were going to be like $5.99 and I think I saw some sell for like $14. Um, so, I mean, it would have been okay, but not really something I want to hold on to. And then I know you can't see it yet, but I'm using the Google uh, image search here um, because it looks like there's like a, a Cinderella type toy, like a horse and carriage. Um, which, you know, it looked like it was selling for 
decent money on Mercari, or at least someone was asking around $40 for it. Um, not really something that I wanted to get into. I, I do end up putting it back um, towards the end. And I do shut off the camera before I check out um, just because you know I don't want to film the cashiers. They might not mind, but that's just, you know, if I'm not finding anything else, I usually shut the camera off, try and preserve that battery. Um, so yeah, just keep on looking, um, you know, kind of just like a, a light day, nothing too crazy here. Um, but I did find these phones, so I see a lot of people selling phones on eBay. Um, so I decided to look them up. I think these are the, the VTech with um, an answering machine. So once we look these up, we're going to see how much they're worth. I, I was seeing comps from anywhere from 30 to 60 bucks, uh, which is surprising me because I, I don't know anybody personally that still utilizes a home phone, but, um, you know, they weren't marked. I think we ended up getting them for like $3.99. So definitely worth, worth the gamble. Um, and hopefully someone will buy them. There was a note on there that said that everything works and that the batteries were included. When we get home, I actually plug them in and, and they do work. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a home line to actually test them, but plugging them in, turning them on. I picked up these cones. I was gonna get them for my son uh, to run some soccer drills, but we actually picked some up last week. So I end up putting those back before I check out. What's up guys, back at the house, and we're gonna go over what we got. So we got this Dirt Devil, uh, $9.99. It actually looks to be new. Um, there's no dirt in there at all. I did plug it in, tested, and it works. So we should be able to get at least 25 out of that, maybe more. Uh, picked up these Merrill hiking boots. I've been getting a lot of shoes lately. Uh, good tread left on those, I'm hoping at least 20. I picked up Silence of the Lambs. Um, probably going to save this for Halloween and hopefully lot something up. I have never done phones before. Um, so I picked up these VTech house phones. Uh, this does have the <clears throat> answering machine. So I saw these go from anywhere to s from 30 to 60. So hopefully we get that. Um, next up, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm a huge turtle fanatic. It looks like this is 1989. It looks like this is truly vintage. Um, so I might put this in the collection or ju just let my son use it. Um, he'll really enjoy that. Next, I found a, I, what I believe to be a brand new sealed um, DS game up. Uh, not a crazy one, but you know we'll throw this on Whatnot. So if you aren't following me on Whatnot, uh, definitely check me out. We try and run auctions every week. I might be taking a break this week, I'm not sure. And then I saw this, which appears to be nothing good. Uh, personal trainer cooking. It might actually be a good game. But I did open it up and I found Spore, which is not a crazy game, but it goes for anywhere from five to ten dollars on eBay. We'll probably throw that on whatnot as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys had a good time. Uh, make sure you like, comment down below and subscribe. Really appreciate it. And we'll catch you on the next one.